So today we are at the Stockton Mine, one of New Zealand's largest coal mines down here on the west coast near Westport. We are with Doug Hood Mining today. What's interesting about Doug Hood is they've been around since the 50s. They actually started as a agriculture farming contractor and now they've moved into mining contracting. So Doug Hood is touring us around their operations here at Stockton, owned by BT Mining. So big thank you to them for allowing us to come out here and film and stay tuned to learn about New Zealand coal mining here on the South Island. I think this would go good on the coffee table at home. I don't know if we're gonna get this in our carry-on luggage. That's pretty, got a good shine to it as well. You know a company's serious about moving dirt when there's a bulldozer in their logo. We're on the Stockton Plateau between Stockton and Deniston. There's 160 years worth of mining up here for metallurgical coal. It's a very historic area and very neat, but Doug Hood is a huge part of the overburden removal program here in order for Bathurst to get down to the coal. So the coal here is met coal or coking coal as they call it. So it's used in steel production globally. So the coal here begins its journey, heads down to Littleton where it's been exported to global markets. We'll have a look at some of the coal in a bit. So you're checking the overburden program out. Now, this is where it starts. This is the raw earth undisturbed being excavated up so they can get to the coal. And then when they're done with it, they'll come in and reclaim the whole area, slope and contour and reseed. So it looks like, we'll go have a look at it. It's a little ways over there, but. So pretty much looks like what it did before uh, by the time we're done with it. But this is the start of the mining process, removing overburden. We'll try and find some coal though. I will not leave until we find coal. Some of the coal here at Stockton Mine. So what we saw earlier with the 1900 that was stripping overburden. That's the start of the mining process. And then once they get down to the coal, they come in, load the coal out into 777s or A60 Volvo haulers. 
But this is it. This is met coal or coking coal as they call it here in New Zealand. Used in steel production. So the coal begins its journey here, loaded into triple sevens. That goes to the wash facility and they also blend it there. So they wash it, blend it to get the proper blend. It goes on an aerial tramway, which is just a ski lift for coal. It goes down the mountain and gets loaded out into a train, which then heads all the way over to Littleton, which is on the other side of the South Island, where it's exported to global ports. But this is the stuff that this is the stuff they use in steel production, and this is the stuff that Stockton is so well known for. It's a very high quality coal. Over 160 years of mining here between Deniston and Stockton up on this plateau. So really historic area, really cool to see. But just over there, we're drilling, we're blasting. And then right here, Doug Hood is just doing a little bit of cleanup to see what coal is left because this area is what's known as hot coal. So the coal is actually burning. So they're just trying to salvage whatever coal they can get. But the seams here have been up to 110 feet thick, but they average about seven meters on average, so they're pretty thick. I think this would go good on the coffee table at home. I don't know if we're going to get this in our carry-on luggage. That's pretty. Got a good shine to it as well. Peacock coal. All the colors of the rainbow. It kind of looks like copper ore almost. It's from the chemical makeup of the coal as it is burned or consumed. All the staining, all these colors. That's pretty. What's kind of neat about Stockton is the fog will just roll in out of nowhere, just come up the mountains. So while it's beautiful here, just over where we were where the 1900 is, it's completely fogged in. You can't even see the machine anymore. So Stockton's kind of unique for that. Very interesting climate up here. This is the dump, so where the 1900 stripping overburden, it all ends up here. All material movement is planned, so what's taken from somewhere else is used in another place. So it's being placed here for eventual recontouring and eventual reclamation after that. Triple sevens are bringing it around, there's D9 spreading it out here, but this is the process of overburden removal. Nothing is really wasted, everything is planned and placed from the 1900 to here. And eventually what we'll see is some rec reclaimed areas and what it looks like. But and this is what Doug Hood uh, does best is big earth moving. That is a, is a wetland. That water gets fucking pumped. In. So after mining's complete, we've kind of seen a bit of the process today. We go from the 1900 stripping we go down to where they're cleaning coal and mining coal. And then we go to the dump where they're recontouring the land. And now this is the finished product. This is reclaimed land that was planted with native vegetation. So this is the end product of mining. And this is a testament to the responsible mining here in New Zealand. So you can see all this land has been recontoured and re-vegetated. Re a little bit further back there, they're still active. Reclamation. But this is reclaimed land after coal mining. This is cool. Yeah, beautiful.
sleep. Yeah, well it could be. Yeah, because that's um, yeah we got. We built the steel of the rebuild, but been making metal. Oh. So we had another one. We had a pull off from another. Doug Hood does all their repairs on site. So the triple sevens, yeah. if they need an engine, tires, you know, welding on the dump body, hubs, transmission, drive line, they'll do it on site. So they have critical spares for the haul trucks, you know, the EX1900 to keep the equipment running. But after the coal's mined up top, it comes down that aerial tramway, which is one of the more unique aspects of Stockton. So it comes down the aerial tramway and then it gets loaded onto these train cars and these train cars make their way out to Littleton where it's shipped overseas. Never seen a mine with its own aerial tramway or the equivalent of a ski lift for coal. That concludes our Stockton visit. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. That's how they mine coal here in New Zealand. Big thank you to Doug Hood Mining for having us out. I'll leave the links to their website and their social media below. They were so kind to tour us around and take time out of their day to show us the mining contracting work they're doing here at Stockton. So again, the links for their profiles are down below. But again, big thank you to Doug Hood for having us out. A fine New Zealand contractor.